What's up, y'all? I am Kia B. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, please subscribe. If you are returning, welcome back. So I have been on a YouTube hiatus, oh my goodness, for about two years either one or two years. I'm excited to be back because I have a lot to share with y'all and I just want y'all to come on this journey with me. It's something totally, totally new. Um, big steps, transformations, a bunch of cool stuff. So I definitely wanna bring you guys along. The reason why we are here today is to talk about natural hair journey. I will honestly suggest going into this with a strong mindset because there are gonna be moments where you aren't gonna like the natural state. So the one secret that I do have is that I did my own diva cut. I know, I know what you thinking. I will include a picture here and I will show you exactly why my hair needed shape. The Diva Cut is the secret to growing out your natural curls. Why? Because they're literally taking out all of the damaged ends or all of the straight ends. So the next step I would suggest is to know your hair type. You wanna know if you are type three or type four. You also wanna know your hair porosity. To know your hair type and you can easily find that out by researching. So when I say type four or type three hair, I mean the curl type. So if you have a looser curl, you might be type three. If you have a more tighter curl, you might be type four. Step number three, figure out your products. So I just mentioned a little bit about what kind of products that I had to find for my hair. You have to figure out what's right for your hair. Go out and buy them. Um, unfortunately, a lot of those products are a little bit expensive, so you honestly will probably break the bank a little bit. It's very important that you pay attention to the ingredients, just like with any other thing. Like if you see a face soap that got alcohol and gobba chakala patala in there, don't use it. Cause what is chakala patala? You don't know. So honestly, just read the ingredients when you are purchasing these items. The more expensive products have the higher quality ingredients. So for example, if I were to go to Target and buy a Shea Moisture product that might cost $15, there might be a higher amount, a higher amount of glycerin in that product than it would be in a suave, you know, $4 shampoo or something like that. Do not get your hair trimmed every three months while you're on this journey because you will not see any results, okay? None. Step number four, you want to make sure that you have a routine. Have a routine. Last but not least, step five, be in love with you and your hair no matter what stage you are in. Take that love and carry it on every single day until you get to your goal and even beyond that point. So love the part of the journey, love yourself, love your hair. Like right now, like my bangs, I wasn't appreciating how short I cut it, but guess what sis, I made it work with this side part. So be patient through this entire process. You can do it. We are in this together. I'm so excited to take you guys along with me on this journey. I cannot wait until we get into month two, month three, month four through six, 12, 20. Oh, we gonna get there. We gonna get that together. Tell me what you liked about this video. If you are going on a natural hair journey, please leave it in the comments. I wanna hear all of your juice. And if you have been on a hair journey before and you have tips and suggestions, let me know, girl. Like, I need all of the tea. I need all of it. Subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you next video.